Here's how I went from walk-on to College World Series in 10 months. It's August of my freshman year at Truman State University, and I'm at walk-on baseball tryouts. Coach brings us all in and says, thank you very much for coming out. I'm not gonna take anyone this year, but I do wanna talk to Matt afterwards. Coach brings me in, basically critiques everything about my pitching, and says that he was gonna keep me, with one exception, that he was gonna drop my arm slot from over the top to sidearm. So basically, I had the whole fall to reteach myself how to pitch, becoming a sidearm pitcher, and if it works out great, and if it doesn't, he could cut me at any time, obviously, because there's no money invested in me. Throughout the fall, I think I'm one of the top freshman pitchers. I throw pretty well during our scrimmages and stuff, and the sidearm thing, I was able to pick it up pretty quick. Fast forward to winter break. The online roster comes out. Everyone's so excited, it's their headshots, they get their jersey number, and I'm at home, I pull up my phone when my buddy texted me that it was posted, and I'm scrolling, 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 and my name is at the bottom with no number next to it. So me, like the young, dumb freshman that I was, I call up coach and say, hey coach, what does this mean? And he goes, well, Matt, that means you're redshirting. You walk down and you're gonna redshirt your freshman year. And I was extremely disappointed and frustrated because I believed that I was one of the top freshman pitchers and that I could really contribute to the team based on how I performed relative to all of the other freshmen and stuff like that. So the whole beginning of that next semester, January, February, before the season started, I did so much at practice. I did so much on my own, especially when the team was traveling. The whole team was gone and it was just me left in Kirksville, Missouri. If you've ever been, don't. But I was running on my own. I was doing everything at practice, just staying ready, staying angry, staying hungry. Then fast forward, we're three weeks into the season and two, two pitchers got hurt. And it's a Tuesday, we have a Wednesday game at practice and coach yells from across the field, Tomats, come here. And I'm like, oh my gosh, like I'm gonna get yelled at again because my whole freshman year, I was the kid that he yelled at because I was the walk on. I run over and he goes, hey, you're suiting up. Bring a duffel bag before our game tomorrow. And I'm just kind of sitting there speechless. He's like, you're getting a jersey. And I just run back, I'm so excited. All my teammates are excited for me because they know they knew how hard I was working and everything. So it's that Wednesday game. I go a little bit early, coach and I walk to the locker room. He opens up the closet with all the jerseys and he tosses me one of the brand new jerseys that we just got in the plastic. And I pick it up and it says XL number one. So I get all my jerseys and stuff. It's that Saturday, it's the first game. I'm just all excited, I'm all dressed up. Everyone's excited for me, oh, number one. Coach says, hey Matt, go get hot, which means go warm up because I was a relief pitcher. I warm up, I go in the game, I get my two outs, I run off the mound, and, and I won't forget, there was a junior who said, Matt, breathe. So then we have an awesome season. We had a bunch of upperclassmen that were starting that had played for three, four years. Our freshmen had played really well and just stepped up. It's the NCAA selection show where they go through the eight regionals. They say what teams are what seeds and everything like that. We get a four seed and we are the last team announced, of course. We're all excited. This is the farthest that any team at Truman State has ever gone. And we just get hot at the right time. We win four games in a row and we are going to carry North Carolina the road to carry the D2 College World Series at the USA Baseball Complex. The only time we ever flew to any game my four years playing college baseball. But I don't play in the first game. I play in the second game against guys that played four year, three years at D1, guys that would go on to be drafted, guys that I would see on TV in a few years. Just going from walk-on to College World Series in 10 months, just looking back on that whole story and journey, there's three main things that I learned. First is you have to always be prepared. I could have been salty, I could have been negative, I could have just accepted my, my fate as just a walk on or just a red shirt. But no, I knew, and here's the second thing, I believed in myself. I believed in myself, 
I kept myself prepared. I honestly didn't even expect, oh, maybe some guys would get hurt, but I just knew that I was better than just a red shirt and that I could really contribute, and that's how I prepared myself. Especially when I had all that free time when I was left by myself when the team was gone, or even just when I had my opportunities at practice. But the biggest thing that I learned from that whole thing is that everything really does play out how it should, no matter how long it takes to realize that. And I know you just rolled your eyes at me, but let me explain. It was my senior year at Truman, and I was just reflecting. I was the president of a club or two, and I was just giving the about me. And although walk-on wasn't my identity, I always shared that story of what I learned from it and how reflecting on all the good grades I got, all the clubs I joined, everything I did that helped me get my graduate assistantship at TCU. If I was given a jersey right from the beginning, I don't think I would have worked nearly as hard and I wouldn't have learned all of those things that I'd learned and developed the work ethic that I did. And it, looking back, it all plays out, obviously. I wish I wasn't so angry for that freshman, sophomore, junior year that I could have realized that it just was what it was. But four years later, I'm in some of the record books. I have a fantastic four years and I'm just super grateful that I was not given that jersey right away, that I had to earn it, that I was redshirting, that I was the walk-on, and that was the story that I made for myself. I was prepared, I believed in myself, and I realized that everything does work out no matter how long it does take. So that's how I went from walk-on to College World Series.